In this video I'm going to cover a writing configuration to a TFTP server. Basically what this does is every time you uh, make a configuration change in your switch and you type the right command, it will make a copy of the current configuration to a TFTP server. This is uh, pretty helpful if you want to keep a history of how your configuration file has changed over time. Um, Basically, you'll just need a couple things. You'll need a TFTP server. I uh, use uh, SolarWinds TFTP server. It's free. Uh, just make sure that it is running. Uh, as you can see, the status is started. And then just take note of where it's going to store your files. You can change this to where you want on the hard drive and uh, uh, save it. And then um, I use also a product called Notepad++. I'll show you at the end of the video. It's basically a way to open the or view the configuration file once it's done. Uh, it's also for utility. And now basically we'll go into the switch and use the archive command. Um, I'll tell that in right now. Uh, and then we'll log in. And config T, and then archive, um, and then put in the path of the TFTP server. Um, I recommend using a host name of your server if you have it, and you'll have to have DNS uh, configured on the switch so it knows where to resolve the host name. I don't have that. Um, running at this time so I'm just going to use the IP address and then I'm going to have a couple other folders after c colon backslash tftp um, it is Cisco and then I have site A and then there will be a dollar $H that dollar $H is a variable and what it will do is create a file name uh, that's unique every time the right command is issued. It'll have the uh, host name, which in this case is switch, and it'll be followed by a date and timestamp. So I'll show you once it's actually written. And then you have to do write memory. If you don't add that, uh, this command uh, won't work, or this archive won't work. And that's basically it. Um, I'll end, and then I'll write, and it should show up. And there it is. Like I said, there's a host name, which is switch, followed by the date, March 5th, and here's the current time. Now, if you make another change, or actually, if you don't even make a change, every time you hit write, it will give a new file name, slightly different timestamp. So, this is good. I will open this up in notepad plus plus like I mentioned I don't want to always open at this because the file name changes so I'll just do that and we'll open notepad plus plus there's the configuration and you can see the lines that we just did so that's it if you found this useful please like and subscribe thank you